Back in the game, baby. Back in the game, baby. Oh. This is the deal. This is the deal. Yeah. So this is my bug that I built a couple years ago to get myself in the game. Um, and we'll go over it. Now these units, um, basically, we'll, we'll give you, I'll give you a rundown quick of what they are and how they're set up, blah, 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 all that stuff. So basically, we take old trucks, okay? Like for instance, this is a 51 GMC 300. And what you do is you, you cut it down from the center of the rear axle to the forwardmost point of the rig. It's gotta be no longer than 13 feet, okay? And then the weight has to be 4,000 pounds without the driver. You cannot weigh over 4,000 pounds without the driver. So you weigh it in, you get as close to 4,000 as you can. Um, you know, you work with your ballast, you know, that's, it's all how you build it, which we'll get into more, but so yeah, you got weight length. Now, when you modify the frames on these, let me, let me show you what you do is you weld a big axle, um, like a big heavy duty axle with low gears right in or right onto the frame rails. See, she's welded right on there. Uh, she ain't moving. No suspension or anything like that. You want flat frame rail back here um, for the hitch, which I'll show you in a second. See, we got a big straight frame. These are chain brackets. I don't know how to hook it up, I'll just show you. And what you do is you run two transmissions, okay? So it's a standard. Obviously, we got a four speed up front, which is the original one to the truck. And then we mount in, I mounted in another one. Let me get rid of this junk. As I was saying, two transmissions, the original four speed. Okay, little, tiny little shaft that I made there to mount to another one. I got an SM465 four speed right here. Put this nice cross member in there, you know, bolts right onto the front. And then I uh, put that cross member there from the bottom of the frame and bolt to the bottom. Um, and uh, yeah, you just make up some drive shafts and uh, you send her, you know, made that pretty thing. Hopefully my clutch doesn't go because that drive shaft was a pain to get in there. And I welded it solid once it was in. So yeah, I'm running a little boat tank. And um, that's pretty much it. This thing, you know, rips like the uh, the turn signals work. All my gauges still work. It starts with the key. There's no battery in it right now. I got wipers. Um, yeah. The sad part is that I'm going to have to remove the cab unfortunately the back half the front clip staying actually yeah and so you see i made these little tiny front tires okay and if you look in here i squash the front end down and weld these u-bolts right to the frame to keep her keep her tight no suspension you know so it's pulling it all right off the ground but the thing is a rig Okay, nice plow. It's a unit, I'll tell you. Um, and yeah, I got a planetary out of a big payloader back here. I gotta strip the brakes out. We gotta lose some weight because it's a little heavy. But. So now, now we'll move on to the back. You see, um, I'll go over. How we hook these bad boys up. Now we're gonna get some up close video of the spring pole. It's in a couple weeks, so I'll probably put this video up. We'll do another one when the pole comes. But here, look. So 
this is how it's set up minus the chain um keep that inside so it doesn't get all rusty because it was expensive these are old chain routes that i first made so you would put a chain link in here the chain would run up here up and over this and droop down with the ring and the ring would hook to the sled tight right there the other side of the chain would come up up and over hook to there and these holes you would use a um a tire iron you know so you tighten the chain up you tighten the chain up nice with the tire and then the tire iron goes in the hole and you put it in and it holds the chain from sliding in and that's how you keep it tight and hitched up this past year I had put this planetary in because my, the old axle that was originally in the truck, I snapped the axle shaft twice. So I changed that and I made these new chain holders. So the chain rides here, link, and just goes straight back. These hold them in place, runs up and over there, bingo bongo. Um, you know, that's what I see some of the professionals doing these days. So that's just what I did. You know, I got these big, bad Johnsons. You know, that's a, uh, and that's the way she goes. And um, so, yeah, but basically everything's solid. Okay, ow, hold on. Oh, here we go. Everything's pretty solid on this unit besides the engine. So I got some tools out here. The hood's not latched on because I had to take it off. Oh, I forgot to go over something else. Oh my God, hold on. I forgot to go over the front here. Look. This chain is on a thing that hangs off the front bumper. And this is here to add weight if I'm light. You can only wheelie to three feet in the air and if you go over your dq so what you do is you take this chain and the chain measures three feet so if the chain comes off the ground you're dq'd and that's all she wrote this d-ring is welded on here to hook a chain to a payloader that would sit there so you don't flip over and die okay and uh yeah so that's where we're at and um swing back on there a little inline six you know just doing work it's a nice unit i'll tell you um besides the bees nest and the carburetor she's in decent shape okay she is i'll tell you I'm gonna take that off and uh, clean it out and rebuild it. And make sure it's all good, good. And honestly, see there's no manifold gasket really left anywhere. So I'd like to take that off and get a manifold gasket. And I think I'll be able to. I mean, the bolts really don't look bad. You know? You know, that's where we're at. Um, there's no oil in it, which is not good, actually. It's bad. It's no good. Uh, let's see, what else? I don't know. She just, she's ready to go, basically. So I'm going to take that off. And uh, we're gonna fix her up, okay? Okay. Oh boy. It's a nice unit. Stupid bees. Oh my goodness. Look at these damn things. All the way down in this. So I'm gonna go slap this on the counter at Napa and uh, they can order me a rebuild kit. All right, all right. It's Tuesday. I got a monster pimple on my forehead, but I got a carver kit. 
Carver, Carver Rebuilder unit and look at this. Larva. Look at these things. All the way down in this. Unbelievable. Jesus Murphy. Stop moving. <laughs> Mint, dipstick, buffalo, doodle bug. <laughs> we took a break from doodle bugging and we're getting the buffalo running. How you doing? <laughs> Saturday, the Buddha Bug Pulls tomorrow, and I'm very excited. Alright, listen, this is how you do it, okay? This is how you do the bug. You get yourself a service truck with your tools, okay? And you go to town on your Doodle Bug. Alright? And I don't have a seat right there, but what you do is hold on. You sit down. Before you even start working on it, just you sit in here. I don't know if y'all can see me. You sit here, seat or not. See my seat's on the ground. And you and you tend to shift this thing. Up, 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 up. Up, up. Go through all the gears. Okay? You guys want to do this? You have to listen to me, all right? This is the way it goes. You want to be successful? You listen to me. Talk to you later. I forgot. I put flex steel tape on my oil pan two years ago. We're dead in the water. My dad's pissed.